Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Alan, from Blue Street Exotics with another episode of Tips and Tricks of the Rental Car Game. Today, we got this 2021 BMW M850i Coupe behind us. And sadly, but I guess you could say it's, it's, it's bittersweet. This is this car's last day here with us. It's getting sold tomorrow. And uh, just I guess for this video, we're going to talk about when is the right time to get rid of a car and, you know, I guess just go into that whole topic. So this car we bought in, I guess you could say winter of 2020. Um, obviously it was a 21 model year when we bought it. It is obviously January of 24 and we're not getting rid of this car, which is pretty cool. Um, this fun fact about this car, this car has gone out on over 600 rentals. Pretty wild, pretty unbelievable, pretty unbelievable. Um, I think this car has gotten into two incidents. I know it had at one point a, a, a minor front end incident and at one point it got sideswiped, but no critical, uh, critical accidents, nothing to destroy the car. But right now the car has about 65,000 miles. Um, maybe a little bit more. Um, we are. Usually when the cars get to that 60, 70 K range, we start to say, okay, this car's had a, had a rough life and time to get something newer. Probably going to replace it with some sort of, you know, another car in the same category. Maybe get an M8 actual, cause this is an M850, not the M8, but I'm not sure. Cause we still have two other M850 convertibles, not coupes on the fleet currently at the moment. But yeah, 600 rentals. This car has probably done and, and, Overall, just money, you know, created probably done anywhere from about one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars in overall sales over the last three to four years. Um, obviously, not all that's profit. You know, a lot of money has gone back into maintenance. This car is on its third set of wheels. I'm telling you right now, don't get hype over that number I just said about how much money this car made. It's more than paid itself off, which is amazing. But this car has also been a headache for us too. <laughs> this car has. Uh, going through three sets of, of, of rims because the rims on this car suck. It destroys tires like you can't, can't even imagine. This car actually took out, uh, uh, the motor blew up. Um, the dry shaft bolt popped a hole in the motor and took a whole motor out. Uh, thankfully at that time, you know, we had warranty. It was covered under warranty, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, this car has definitely gone through its trials and tribulations, but for us it was an amazing car. That's why we ha actually have three of them on the fleet. We have, a black on tan convertible. We have a navy blue on red convertible, M850, and then this is the only coupe that was on the fleet. Uh, not sure where we're going to replace it with yet, but we have a couple options out there of possible replacements. But yeah, um, it's very important that you kind of have like a, I guess a goal, you know, for how much money a car should be making. Obviously, cars should be positive. You know, the note on this car with payment and insurance, let's just say it was right around $2,000 a month. This car would definitely uh, average anywhere from about four to six thousand dollars a month in, in, in profits. And some months it would supersede that. Obviously, I'm giving you guys averages. You know, some months the car would do 10k months. Some car sometimes sometimes the car would do twelve thousand dollars months and even eight thousand dollars a month. So the car was as long as this car was on the road, it was always profitable. Very good car. You know, customers loved it. You know, V8 twin turbo. You know, all wheel drive. You know, it was really classy but also sporty. Not the most expensive car in the world. You know, we ran really good promos and really good deals on this car, but it's kind of sad to see her go, you know? So when you're buying a car, I don't recommend ever buying a car with high mileage, especially if you're in the luxury space. For the most part, we buy our cars brand new. It's not maybe a year old, but low mileage. You know, people, at least from what I've experienced, don't want to be in a car that is used and abused and has a lot of miles on it. And, you know, just being 100% transparent, we love BMWs, but BMWs, when they get a lot of miles in it, are very problematic. Stuff starts breaking down, and it's just something that you're just not going to want to deal with. You know, sometimes we get rid of cars even before the 60, 70 K mile uh, rate, but we figured with having the two convertibles, um, that this car being the highest mileage of the group, it was time for this car to go. Um, so just kind of, you know, when, when you're going into the business, you definitely want to make sure that when the cars get a certain amount of miles that you're looking to dump them. Also, you know, I feel like once these cars pass 60, 70 K thousand miles, you know, the, 
in there, like, I guess at that bottom of depreciation. And if you, once you start getting to 80, 90,000 miles, all the value in the car just goes out the window. So when you're renting cars, you have to make sure that at some point you get rid of them and refresh them. You know, especially for us, we're in the luxury and exotic space. People want the newest of the new. People want, you know, what's fresh. So for us, really good car. Yes, we may get another one, but want to make sure that we give something, something better for you guys. So just to give you guys exact figures on the car right here, I actually have them right here on my phone. So I'm going to use my phone as a little cheat code. This car did about $250,000 in revenue over the last four years. Like I said, it has 610 rental days total. So just to give you guys an idea, we had this car for exactly 42 months. So if I do 250 divided by 42 months, this car did about $5,952 per month in revenue. Obviously, that doesn't include payment, insurance, maintenance, anything like that. But very, very profitable car. Um, this car was 100% uh, a blast to be able to own. And uh, that is why we went out and bought two more. For me personally, when something is dumb broke, you just keep for, like we're kind of running the same play over and over again. And, you know, that's why we end up with the two convertibles. We actually have one of the convertibles right behind it. Um, but yeah. Rest in peace or rest in paradise to somebody else who's going to own you one day. M850, you're a great car to own. And uh, if you are looking to buy a car for the fleet to leave on vehicle management with us, uh, make sure you talk to us about that because uh, a lot of the cars that we have now coming in are people who own cars that want to turn those cars into money-making machines. So definitely call in, ask me to manage it by our vehicle management program because that is definitely a way for people to take take these liabilities and make them into assets um, as long as it's done the right way under the right management. And I know everybody always says that we speak about a lot of negative with a lot of the car crashes, but this was a success story. Goodbye, MA50. Did a great job. And uh, see you guys next time. Make you guys make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe on all socials, especially YouTube. See you guys next time. Blue Shoot Exotics. Talk to you later.